happy 4th of July and happy Independence Day, everybody. Unless, of course, you're Nike. In that case, maybe you don't celebrate it because you don't like the American flag. I'm not sure. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Colin Kaepernick and Nike and the whole controversy going on there. Before we get into that, I actually have my own Independence Day story just for you. So there I was, just kind of, you know, watching the parade and having a good time. And then I hear there's a lot of commotion. A lot of people are kind of getting really excited and animated. So I look, and there is this old guy right here, just walking around like he owns the place. There's some security around with him. He's just kind of walking around, shaking everyone's hands and waving and having a good old time. So this old guy kind of stole the parade and made it all about himself. It was just kind of interesting to see him in a parade where I really didn't expect anything like that. So like I said, we're going to talk about the controversy going on with Nike, Colin Kaepernick, and these shoes right here. So you'll notice they have an American flag on them. It's not the one we use today, and we're going to get into that in just a little bit. But first, a little bit of backstory about Colin Kaepernick. So if you don't remember or if you don't know who he is, Colin Kaepernick used to be a, an NFL player for the 49ers. Um, about three years ago, which is surprising to me that it's been so long, it feels a lot more recent, but he decided to start kneeling in protest during the national anthems. So I'm just going to quote what he says as opposed to speculating why he did it. So he says, quote, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. So Colin Kaepernick is essentially saying that he doesn't want to show respect or show pride for a flag because in his mind, that flag represents this country, which is oppressing minorities. Now, I don't want to get into that. This was a whole controversy when it first happened. But this is essentially why Colin Kaepernick became a national individual, not because he was really, really good at football or anything, but because of this controversy and this protest. So shortly after that, he actually got some sort of sponsorship or deal with Nike. And again, you may be familiar with this image. It just shows a picture of Colin Kaepernick, and it says, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. And then the Nike symbol would just do it at the bottom. So after he was an NFL player, he started working with Nike in some sort of sponsorship and some sort of partnership they have going on. The last piece of, I guess, backstory we need is what this flag actually is. So the flag that was on those shoes is the Betsy Ross flag. You can see it right here. And this flag was actually made in 1777, and it was a flag that was used for around 20 years in the United States. The What I think is the most important or coolest thing about this flag is that it was actually made by Betsy Ross, who, believe it or not, is a woman. And that kind of, to me, just shows that you could actually argue this flag is an inclusive flag. Because if it was made in 1777 and it was used as the American flag and it was made by a woman, that's pretty impressive because in 1777, you know, they were a little bit more sexist than we are now. Um, but I think it's important to recognize that this flag, just because it was made during that time period, does not represent everything in that time period. We're going to get into that in a little bit. So back to the story at hand. What happened is that Nike made these shoes and they put them out there. They sent them to retailers. But Colin Kaepernick did not like it. So we have here, according to the Wall Street Journal, that Kaepernick said he and others found the shoe offensive because of its ties to America's era of slavery. So essentially what happened is Nike had made these shoes and they were complete. They sent them to stores and retailers, but because Colin Kaepernick didn't like them and he found it offensive, Nike then recalled all of those shoes. So it's not like the shoes were still in production or that they were still being talked about. They were actually physically made and out in stores, but Colin Kaepernick complained and so they brought them back in. Now, there are a couple of things to this part of the story. The first being that it seems Colin Kaepernick has quite a bit of power over Nike. With one single complaint, he was able to get them to pull an entire product. One individual got a fairly large company to pull an entire product just because he was offended by it. That's, that's one thing. But the other thing is that the reason that he was offended by it was because it somehow relates to America's slavery. I mean, I would understand that at least a little bit more if it were the Confederate flag, but just because it's a flag that was used during the same time that there was slavery in the United States does not mean that it represents slavery. We have the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, there are countless historical documents and artifacts that are from that time period, but that doesn't mean that they represent slavery. That logic just doesn't make sense to me. Also, let's not forget that this is the same guy who wore these socks. Now, if you can't see it, these are socks that have pigs who are dressed up as police officers. So it's kind of playing on the insult that cops are pigs. And 
He wore these during a practice game, and when asked about it, this is what he said. He said that he had worn the socks during training, but said they were only intended to make a statement about, quote, rogue cops. So according to Colin Kaepernick, it's completely okay to wear socks that make fun of, and I'm sure offend to an extent, some of the cops. But he's only talking about the bad cops, not about all cops in general. But at the same time, it is not okay to wear shoes with an American flag on it because of slavery or something along those lines. I just don't understand the logic there. That's all that I had for you today. Um, before we go, I kind of, I've been trying to use different programs to make it a little bit more interactive for you. So I was trying to get my image like this the entire time down on the side as an inset, but I couldn't find a program that actually, first off, was free and worked very well for me. So if you have any suggestions or any ideas, feel free to let me know. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about this whole thing down in the comments, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure to subscribe.